Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am following up with my series of the best purchases from American Girl. If you watched my last video, which I will link in this one, I talked about Courtney's fitness set that included her TV with the TV being like the pentacle of the best purchase from American Girl. Today I'm sneaking in a group here and it is the Girl of the Year dolls. So just a little bit of background. We started collecting in 2014 um, and it started with actually the year or two before my dad bought Kennedy who started this channel, a Bitty Baby. And then we started looking for items for the Bitty Baby and discovered American Girl or a memory was reopened for myself as I read the books when I was younger but never had a doll. And then, um, she was too young to get a doll and then for her let's see 2014 for her sixth birthday we got her Isabel um, to see how she would do and it just kind of all started from there um, we get a girl of the year each year obviously and the tradition was to get it on Kennedy's birthday she would always get the doll and accessories her birthday is in February so it was pretty soon after the doll came out um, since she does not collect anymore, I just get the doll on the first. Um, usually the stuff is out on the 31st and I order it online and ship it to the house. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of each of the dolls that we have and kind of talk about favorites and what is special about each doll. Alright, first up is 2014 Doll of the Year Isabel Palmer. Ignore Grace, I can't move the dolls right now, they're propped just perfectly. But um, as mentioned in the intro, this is the very first American Girl doll that we've ever had. They are not all in their meat outfits because if you saw my other organization video, you know my clothes are in a huge bin and so I was like, I'm not going to put them all in their meat outfits, they're dressed, it's good. Um, but she, um, we have plenty of her collection. We never got any of the bigger items, just a couple of the clothes for her collection. And about two years ago, we had to send her to the doll hospital to get her hair re-wigged. And she's the first and only doll we've sent to the doll hospital. Her hair is amazing though, and so it was worth getting it redone. Next is 2015 Girl of the Year, Grace Thomas. And Grace was the one doll that I think we really started diving deep into her collection. She, um, let's see, we got her, well for Kennedy's birthday we got her the mini doll to see how she would handle it. Then we took a surprise trip to Disneyland and surprised her with a double surprise to the AG store and got this doll for her. And then this was when I started exploring on eBay and getting some of her items and for Christmas. Um, and that were already sold out on the website and so we really have a connection with Grace. Next up is Leah Clark. Um, Leah's gorgeous. Oh, let me go back to Grace for a second. Grace has not gotten a new wig. She definitely needs one. Her ends are like super done. We have straightened her hair before just because she has straight hair and that has helped especially if you wash it first and then you straighten it but um, she was in storage for a while. I just pulled her back out and I don't feel the need to straighten it again. Alright, so Leah Clark, 2016 Girl of the Year. She's gorgeous. Her skin tone is just absolutely amazing. She's wearing Kira's outfit today because um, I wanted to put Kira in her neat outfit and it just pops on her skin. Uh, but these are sort of the same color palette for her own collection. Um, and so she's really, really great. I try to move her without moving any other dolls. They're all like barely propped. Um, Leah's hair is gorgeous. Leah needs a new wig. You can see down here how it's kind of like fried at the ends. Um, and so she definitely needs a new head, but I have not sent her in. If you have sent a doll into the doll hospital, you know it's about, um, what was it? It's like 70, but you have to pay for the shipping. So, I mean, it's a good chunk. Um, and I just haven't sent her in, although I would love to send her in and my number 82 Hannah because my 82's hair is really stringy, side note. All right, next was 2017, Gabriella McBride. We were out of the moon excited about having a girl of the year that, had, um, that was black and had a story um, that was about poetry and dance. 
disappointing as we all know that she was not meant to be the girl of the year and they just did it to suffice the public um, and therefore her collection suffered but we do have her loft bed her dance bar her dance mirror her outfits um, and she was pretty cool I think 2017 is the time there's a lot of changes happening in American Girl. If you remember, we had perma panties in 2017. They were doing nail polish on the dolls. We had the new boxes, like just a whole bunch going on. So she did not get the year that she could have had, but still one of our favorites. We have Luciana, who was 2018 Girl of the Year. From here on out, um, this was kind of where Kennedy was no longer into it. Um, and so she, we got her for her birthday as usual, but we didn't really do much with the collection. Luciana's collection wasn't super exciting to us. Um, Kennedy does like science and math, but this just didn't speak to her. Um, we got one of the first Lucianas, um, and so her bangs are super in, in front of her face. She also has bad eyes, but it is what it is. Um, and mid-year they came out with the Luciana where the bangs were not in the face like that but I usually braid her hair into um, or braid the bangs into her hair so they are kind of trained to be pushed back and um, she's just a cute doll nothing she doesn't nothing about her collection was super exciting to me okay 2019 was the last doll that I got Kennedy for her birthday is Blair Wilson and she is adorable um, again because we were kind of getting out of the collection we don't have that many things of hers we got um, a couple of I'll be always with the pajamas we got um, the overalls outfit because it was adorable and we have the garden um, I have her kitchen but I or her restaurant but I ended up selling it on Macari because we just had no space for it and I was interested in storing it um, but I recently redressed her in her meat outfit for my last video and she is adorable. She's a really cute doll um, and I love a redhead <laughs> so we have a few redheads in our collection and I always think the red hair dolls with the lighter eyes really pop. Alright the last two dolls in the girl of the year collection are Joss and Kira. Joss um, was the first doll that I got without um, getting it for Kennedy and 2020 was weird guys we all know it was I don't really have any connection with Joss except that she is a girl of the year I think I bought her I bought her real late um, I don't even think I have her pajamas um, I think I just really got her and nothing else um, so she's cute I mean she had oh I got her accessories her accessories are cute um, hey we do it every year it's one of those things where we get her every year even if we're not really feeling it but um, I was not into her story because I felt like it was very closely related to Leah's story and by story I mean like what was she into surfing in the ocean and stuff like that and I'm looking for American Girl to do something different. I know they're trying, but not my favorite, but here she is. And then last is Kira. A little disappointed that she was another blonde, but when we look at the girls of the year, we haven't had a blonde since Isabel, so not that, that bad. Um, she's still brand new to our collection. I did buy the Kira collection, so we have a lot more of her items, some of her pets, um, we have the Kira Rescue Clinic, we have outfits, her accessories, and I think she's a cute doll. Her meat outfit is gorgeous. This little shorts thing is so cute to me, um, and I really like her as a doll. I haven't read her story. I honestly don't read the stories, although I always have intentions to. I don't. I have a stack of books just sitting, um, but she is a beautiful doll. I did put her hair back into her neat style with just a regular hair tie, um, and she is new, so she does sit out in the house um, where some of the older dolls do not sit in the house. Like, Isabel doesn't sit in the house. Actually, Isabel's the only one in this group that doesn't. Blair wasn't sitting in the house. Um, yes. So, this is 
another one of my favorite purchases and this is an annual purchase and this is the girl of the year and they're always special because of all of the hype surrounding the girl of the year as well as just the excitement and all of the new things that come with the collection and ushering in a new year so this is something that we probably will do until the end of time or until my husband cuts me off because i think i will always get the girl of the year so that is the second best item or items that i purchased from american girl which is your favorite girl of the year and do you collect them and purchase them on the first like the rest of us let me know down below in the comments thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and thanks for all of the new subscribers have a great day